Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois could be next. And Frank Warren said that this fight is in talks. But who would win this fight? Well, before we talk about who would win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Anthony Joshua fought Otto Wallen, in which Anthony Joshua started off very slow until he started letting his hands go and rocked Otto Wallen in round five. Don't let his hands go. <laughs> no! And then Otto Wallen ended up quitting on the stool at the end of round five. They've stopped the fight, and it is over indeed. Anthony Joshua. At this, Anthony Joshua wanted to fight Francis Ngannou, in which he dropped him in round one. Focus. No way, Jay. Then dropped him again, and then knocked him out in round two. Anthony Joshua can destroy. Oh! Now let's take a look at Daniel Dubois' latest performances in which he fought Gerald Miller, in which Daniel Dubois lands some great shots, took control of the whole entire fight, in which he stopped Gerald Miller in round 10. At this, Daniel Dubois went on to fight Philip Perkovic, in which Philip Perkovic was outlanding Daniel Dubois in the early rounds until he gassed out Daniel Dubois, started letting his hands go, in which he rocked Philip Perkovic in round 7, and then the doctor stopped the fight since Philip couldn't continue due to the cuts on his face in round 8. Now, right now, this is one of the best fights to make in the heavyweight division for many reasons, so let's go over them. Well, the first reason is because Daniel Dubois is ranked number 5, and Anthony Joshua is ranked number 2, on top of the fact that both men are on a winning streak. For example, Daniel Dubois is on a 2 fight winning streak with both of those wins ending by TKO and Anthony Joshua is on a four fight winning streak with three of those wins not going the full rounds so there's a lot of hype around both men so it'll be interesting to see how both men will match up considering both men's power and boxing IQ now not only does this fight make sense for it to happen considering the stats that I just listed but also because it's clear that Anthony Joshua isn't going to be able to fight Alexander Usyk or Tyson Fury considering that the rematch between both men is scheduled to happen this year so Joshua can either wait but I'm guarantee you he's not going to do that so that's why it makes sense for him to fight Daniel Dubois but who's actually going to win this fight which kind of tricky because it's safe to say that both men are one of the best in the heavyweight division because before both men lost to Alexander Usyk they were on a winning streak and after the loss to Alexander Usyk they got back on a winning streak but in the end my prediction is that both Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois are going to be hesitant to throw something big early on only because both men don't want to overcommit and get clipped but based off Daniel Dubois last two fights it's clear that he does better in the later rounds when his opponents are gassed out and that's when he decides to put crazy pressure but I do believe that Anthony Joshua is going to get outperformed and he's going to lose round by round so I do see Daniel Dubois winning the fight by decision but I could see him end it early.